This is Dr. Thomas Klein coming to you from Raleigh, North Carolina. I am a specialist in uh, long-term painful diseases. I'm also a generalist and interested in general topics as well. But today we want to talk about pain. If you go to the emergency room with a broken leg, you're going to have a lot of pain. And there's only one medicine that we have to relieve that pain, and that's opiate pain medicines, commonly called opioids. It's really opiate pain medicine. Um, they do work, and they do have side effects, like all drugs. And they have a particularly nasty side effect of causing addiction uh, in one in about 300 people who are carrying a gene, not for addiction, the gene actually regulates how much wonder drug or dopamine is released into your body uh, when you take an opiate. And that's what's abnormal. So I want you to picture in your mind the worst pain that you've ever had. And everybody kind of has the worst pain ever. And then think about what it was like when it got relieved, presumably with uh, opiate pain medicine. Now, suppose you take the medicine and it's not relieved. And it continues on and on and on. So you got this horrible pain that you put up with for three days, and now you have it four days, or five days, or a month. And you go to the doctor and say, well, you can't have any pain medicine. You don't need it. I can't see a cause for your pain. So what do you suppose life is like? What happens is the pain converts itself into chronic pain or long-term pain. And it's different. It's a little different than the acute pain. What happens for all pain is inflammation. Inflammation causes pain. Suppose you go out and you get a splinter in your toe, and your toe swells up, turns red, and it can be agony, just your toe. It can disable you. Your toe can be so painful that you can't go get around, walk, get in the car. So where's the pain coming from? The pain is coming from a foreign body, a splinter, in your toe, and your body recognizes it as something that breached the portal, and it causes this inflammation, which is swelling. The swelling and redness is the inflammation, and that's what causes the pain. The pain doesn't come out of nowhere. The pain comes from the inflammation. If you could have inflammation without pain, you'd have a big red swollen toe, that wouldn't hurt, but that doesn't happen. So, how does your body know that you've got a splinter in your toe? That sounded like Sudoku. Anyway, so what goes on in your body is inflammation is actually chemicals, proteins, kind of like hormones that circulate around. So you get the splinter in your toe and there are cells uh, floating around, kind of guardian cells, ready to go, and they excrete cytokines, C-Y-T-O-K-I-N-E-S, cytokines. And these cytokines are chemicals that are coming from these cells, and lo and behold, guess who regulates it all? Your brain. So there are what are called pro-inflammatory cytokines pro-inflammatory. This makes the inflammation. So they circulate, they cause redness and swelling and allowing um, capillaries to open up and little white cells to get out and see if they can take care of the problem. Then what happens after five or six days, your toe starts to get smaller, less red, and it stops becoming inflamed. And when it stops becoming inflamed, you have no pain. And that's because you have anti-inflammatory cytokines that shut the process down. So first the pro-inflammatory cytokines, swells up, 
than the antipsychotics that stop it. What happens with chronic pain is the pro-inflammatory cytokines stay in charge. So I've had patients in my practice who were in automobile accidents 10 years before they had pain and then people didn't treat their pain right away, which is one of the factors that leads to chronic pain. Oh, you don't need this, take some Tylenol. No, when I learned in medical school and it's still true, somebody's in pain, you jump on it. And you try to treat the inflammation also at the same time. Turns out, opiate pain medicine is also anti-inflammatory. We just discovered that this year. One of our members of the National Pain Council came up with this. So, if somebody is in pain 10 years after their automobile accident, if we could just shut down these pro-inflammatory cytokines, we'd be good. And there are medicines, but they're all dangerous. And there's been very little work done on chronic pain because it's only in 3% of the population and there's about 30 different diseases, all of them rare, so nobody's really focused on all of it. Now, here is some oddball thing about this. If you are treating the chronic pain with opiate pain medicines, the pain never goes away. And anybody who takes this will tell you that's true. But it makes the pain tolerable. So you can now get up in the morning, take the dog out for a walk, and take a shower. Things that you cannot do with untreated chronic pain. So, the odd thing is, you've got this really horrible pain taken care of with these wonder drugs. Um, and you cut yourself with a knife. Still hurts. You twist your ankle. Still hurts. What's going on? We don't know. There's something funny about suppression of chronic pain with opiate pain medicines. It works. There's no doubt about it. It works. But so now we have a person with heroin addiction disease who breaks his leg. So he's taking lots of pain medicine. By the way, heroin is a pain medicine. It's just not prescribed in the United States because in 1925 they thought if he made it illegal it would shut down all the heroin addicts. Um, that hasn't worked. And they're still trying to do the same thing. Um, sending doctors to prison, arresting people. Because if you put these medicines out there, you'll just cause more overdoses and addiction, which we've already tested that hypothesis for the past hundred years hasn't worked. So back to the heroin addict that comes in with a broken leg. What do you do? What people do is they don't treat them, which is inhumane and unethical. We're bound as doctors to be non-judgmental and treat everybody who's sick. I think I told you during the Civil War, the Confederate doctors would come over at night and help out the Union doctors and vice versa. That's our job to be non-judgmental. So why is this person's ankle in pain? Well, that's because in chronic pain and the treatment of chronic pain, it's not only about the pain. It's partially about the inflammation, but it's also about the perception of pain. And it doesn't really kind of matter if you've got one of these horrible diseases like, uh, you know, interstitial cystitis or the famous um, disease um, called trigeminal neuralgia that's known as the suicide disease because it's so bad people actually kill themselves from having this god-awful pain where it just shoots down your face and uh, into your, it's just unimaginably horrible. But the medicines frequently work the opiate pain medicines. So we've got some questions. What happens when you have an inconsistency? This is our old friend, Aristotle. This, this is our old friend, oh, never mind. Um, I'll think of it in a minute. This process, Socrates, this process 
was when Socrates becomes the scientist. Socrates says if you have something that doesn't make sense, you have to ask questions and go through the Socratic process. So we're doing that currently at the National Pain Council because this is really odd. The um, mantra that we hear all the time about people with chronic um, pain disease, or we're calling this uh, long-term painful diseases, is do we treat other things that happen? So you've got this disease where, um, let's say you originally broke your leg. Now you're having pains all over your body, and we think that the cytokines moving around where they shouldn't be. But it's quite common, more than 80% of people with um, painful diseases report they're having pains in other areas. So it may be that you get a little bit of inflammation like in your shoulder or because you're know, lifting groceries, and now the pro-cytokines come along and go, oh no, you've got a horrible problem, you know, so we're going to jack up the pro-inflammatory uh, uh, pro cytokines, and all of a sudden your shoulder starts hurting. People that have these, these chronic diseases uh, really have a terrible life that's rescued beautifully by um, opiate pain medications. So we're going to work with Socrates and we can't really do experiments yet um, but we're going to try to use logic and figure out the conundrum of the chronic pain. We do know one thing for sure. If you don't treat pain right away, immediately, immediately, within five minutes, you can develop this. And it's interesting that the CDC guidelines recommend not using pain medicines and waiting and trying Tylenol first. So in the emergency room, they give you Tylenol first with a broken leg. This is insanity. Thank you and good evening.